are you doing okay guys we are going to try and implement something very interesting so let's go to all courses uh, because we don't want to call it categories but uh, we could you could call yours categories anyway and uh, we're going to look at um, a delete button so before we do that I want us to go and um, change the um, the user role to admin so we can see the delete button then from there we can walk our way upwards so enter to login now what we're trying to do is to install a what you see is what you get editor i'm trying to make sure that i touch all aspects of um, web development with laravel so you can understand it very well so we're going to roll we want to change the row to maybe two or one let's put it at one enter so we've changed the user role if we come here now and refresh we will see the two buttons we're looking for reload okay now we have these two buttons right we can click on edit and uh, we have this now we want to put in what you see is what you get text editor to do that you visit admin.lte now before i forget or lest i forget if you don't have your internet connection on your website might look funky it might just look um all destroyed because um here in app.blade we imported this and as you can see all these things are coming from the internet so if you don't have your uh, internet connectivity on on your system they will not be able to fetch all these files so you'll be wondering why yours is not looking cool so you go to admin lte and of course i'm going to close this um we don't need this so you click on docs and it will bring you to this place on admin lte now we're going to look at dependencies and plugins and we look for what you see is what you get editor any nice one is okay all right what you see is what you get editor see editors so let's try um what you see is what you get editor for five html5 there's another one for bootstrap and there's another one for ck editor basically we'll go what with the one that is the easiest to install okay now this is an editor on bootstrap and um, it's supposed to be we're looking for the one that is easiest we can install it with bower i'm looking for npm install um, this doesn't interest me uh, let's look at the next one bootstrap what you see is what you get it. i think it's the same thing isn't it um is what we just checked now bootstrap then let's check ck editor and see if it works well okay we're good ck editor why ck editor and so on uh remember that you can always get different kinds of editors for yourself you can go and google any other ones but i'm not interested in knowing why ck editor just click on ck editor uh, 5 and um we click on the documentation i think let's do demos first then we can know what we're looking for exactly all right so this is what the what you see is what you get editor looks like you see helps you to really organize an article and add uh, videos and a lot of things with all these nice controls and that's the classic editor okay and this is the balloon as you can see this does not have any controls but if you know the shortcuts you can use them to create what you want and there is an inline editor you see you see you can create blocks and then write within the blocks it's beautiful then you have um the document editor in case you want to construct something like this one looks like um uh, what do you call it now looks like a, a, an MS Word document so I think the classic is closest to the kind of thing we're looking for and uh, that's what we're going to try and install straight away so even though CK editor looks um, big and uh, nice it's just too big it's too cumbersome that's why I hate it and the other reason why I don't like CK editor or any other editor is because they don't allow you to upload images free but there's just one editor that does that all right 
and that editor is no longer in active development but um, that's what I use all the time it works perfectly okay so it's called nice edit so you go to nice -E, that's nice then dit so nicedit.com if you go to the site nice edit is it nice edit.com all right so you see that uh, and then just come here copy the two they will give you two links copy them and then come straight to your app folder go to resources go to views go to layout then app then at the head section of your app at the head section um, paste this the two things we copied save then any editor we go any text area will go to on our site will automatically have nice edit you see how beautiful it is now the most interesting thing is that you can upload image upload image choose you upload image very easily the other things you can customize like reduce some of the controls like background color and all you can re remove some of them but generally that's how it works all right so we're gonna go straight to um, other thing so when you click on all courses click on view category and uh, it will show us this so what we need to do is to just clean up this place we call it it's in categories view or show the blade so we go to categories uh, in resources views categories we're looking for show the blade but when we click on show the blade what we see is that show the blade file is importing another file inside categories folder called uh, show fields and uh, it also has a button this button says back we don't I don't like this design I'm gonna remove it so th that's this button I'm going to remove it here so I'll copy it and remove it then if we refresh we'll see that the button is gone reload this button should be gone right away and it's gone okay so we need to clean up this place now to clean it up what we need to have is a uh, ID the ID and the name they are just messing up we don't need the ID we just need the, the title category title so here we're gonna put the title here so to do that we simply have to put we go to this show fields that is pointing at show fields of blade and we see all the details we need and the first thing we need is ID we don't need it we delete it the next one is the name we just carry it all right delete we've copied that one we need we get back to show the blade and we paste it here okay so this makes sense now we come back we refresh okay you see so this once we open the category this shows us the name of the category and then we see the description straight away I don't know whether we need description as a word but um, I can just remove it I don't think we need description so it makes sense now so at the end of the day we have view count so I can just save views and um, deleted that we don't need this when it's deleted who needs to see that um, created that we don't need okay we may need when it's created and um, updated that I don't think we need updated that the last time it was updated okay if we may need it can say I'll take it okay. so remember how we used to call that we need to call it muted text but first of all let's refresh first so it's cleaned up now the category has this and then I think we're generally good to go so what we're gonna do just right inside here right inside here inside this row let's give it it's giving padding left 20 pixels but let's just let's say in class because there's bootstrap 4 now we can do p3 reload p3 is like padding to give it padding on all sides i think um it didn't have much effect obviously because we had class twice there's already class there that i didn't see so p3 p3 is like padding 3 reload yeah it makes sense now because if you look at this place it just added an extra layer of padding I think I should reduce it more to reduce that more we can do padding um, I think 6 
let's see how six looks like. Oh well, it's just dancing between uh, both. So another thing you can do is just to use raw CSS. We can use raw CSS to make that happen. So this is exactly what I'm looking for: padding left and padding right. So if you check here, you see that there's padding left, padding right. Another thing we can do is just add padding top. Padding top colon. We can add um I think 30 pixels, 40 pixels. Might be okay. Who knows? Uh, 40 is too much. I'll just put 30, and I think 30 is just the right padding on it. Okay, good. Now, um, we now have two dates to contend with. Two dates, and some of these things are on the same column. We have to make sure that they are on different columns. So, if you go to show fields, you see that they are trying to be on the same column, which is not a cool idea. We will try and make sure that they are on different columns. There are better ways to do that, but I'll just use BR tags. Um, of course, you could do that in much better ways. The other times, and guess what? Our VR tags seem not to have worked. All right, so since we are um, right here and we're using Bootstrap 4, what we're gonna do is to use the Bootstrap 4 code that says W100, that is width 100%. If we just do W100 here, W100. And uh, the same thing, I'm just going to copy and paste uh, right here, space and space. Okay, so we reload. So you see, they occupy uh, the full width. Then one more thing is that we can do the format. Um, instead of updating that, just throwing random numbers. Look at how the numbers look um, just confusing. We can do format. Um, sorry, in the format, I think it's this way. I think it's this way, just to be sure. So we're going to tell it the format to work. So I'm going to say um, day, day, month, year. All right. Um, how minutes? I think um, this is how HIS. I think it's called HIS, but let's check. Um, the last two numbers is what I'm not. Okay, see three. I think there should be an A or something somewhere. A. PM. Cool. So this says Wednesday 20. So we split it this way. Wednesday. Wednesday 20 February. I think if you double the D, it's going to do something like 20th February 2019. See? Oops. I think I'm going to stop here. But the other thing is that we can do muted. All right. Um, we've done this. Let's do it for this one too. And then we're going to do something else that is interesting. So I'm just going to put a dash here. So I think I, I want the date and time up first. Up first. Then there is this dash that shows. Let's just confirm. All right, so 3 p.m. Yes, this makes sense to me now. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is just copy exactly what we have here and apply to the other date. Copy what we have here, apply to the other date. Now, the other thing is we have to make the text small. So I'll do small, and here I'll do small, and here I'll do small. So if we check now, the, th the sizes of these ones will reduce. See, they are now small. Then I want them to fade a little. So we'll do what we did before. Text muted on all of them. I'll copy. Text uh, muted. Oops. Text muted. And text muted. The reason I'm muting them is because I don't want to. I don't want them to distract, to distract people reading this. You see, they are a little faded now. All right. The next thing we're going to do is to print out all the um, courses that are under e-commerce to do that we need to just go to the courses we need to reference the courses list um, we need to reference the list of courses here right first of all we need to see how this was referenced if we go to show blade we'll see that they just included 
um, that was how they reference this file. So we have to duplicate this so that we can reference the next one we're looking at. We're looking at um, referencing courses and um, table. Table is usually the one that lists everything. All right, so we're referencing inside the courses folder. Inside the courses folder, we're referencing table. Table has the list of all courses, you see? So that's what we're trying to print out here. But if we refresh it now, it's going to throw an error because we've not um, done something in the, you see? There's an error. There's something we need to do in the controller to be able to pull out all these courses. So we need to go to categories controller so that for each category, as we're retrieving the category, we, we, we are retrieving all the courses underneath it. So we'll go to app, um, HTTP controllers, and um, surprise, surprise, it's like we need to refresh. So we're back to app. Okay, yeah. In HTTP, app, HTTP controllers, we're going to see category controller and then the category controller under show once you see a number here it means that it's under show function so we're looking for show function now we found the show function now what happens is it just pulls all the category and we need to pull all the courses too with the category so what i what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to call this courses we'll say uh course find courses where all right category category underscore id is the same as um, the id of this category category id what happened is the same thing as category id going to retrieve all of them to do get okay so we are making a mistake somewhere obviously we need double quote here so we're still making a mistake somewhere okay so now we need to import costs at the top here you will see that it's imported uh, we're going to import course uh, model here remember in the picture I used to describe it you need to import models so this is a course model to import it we, we're just going to tell it to use app go to app folder backslash you will see models backslash you will see course a model called course that's how we import it you see so if we get back to that show, uh, this will now work. Now we need to pass this list of courses. Remember what we just did here is find all the courses that um, have this um, category ID. So we're going to add it to this place. I'm just going to click here, click enter, click at the end here, click enter, then duplicate this line, duplicate, copy courses, paste here, paste here. So what Laravel is doing with this place is, is trying to call up categories folder under resources views and then call up show.blade.php then pass on these two variables inside it all right we've declared this variable here we'll retrieve the content and also declare this variable here retrieve the content so uh let's go and see whether what we did worked the error should go if we did everything right reload it has reloaded now what we have here is a beautiful list of courses under this category okay we don't have any course here that's why you're not seeing anything but as you can see already there's a list of courses all right so i think um um what we are going to do is just to tell people that these are list of courses right so we're going to go back to categories and show the blade here let's just do a h um i think h2 class text center I know this from bootstrap bootstrap 4 if you do text center to position a text in the center we can do uh, courses h2 um, 
and if we reload now has courses but um, one thing that didn't happen is that text center did not text center did not pull our w3 it did not position our item in the center okay yeah it has now done that so what i basically do was spread the d to 100 percent so that courses will be inside uh, another thing you can call it is courses under e-commerce courses under e-commerce all right category okay so one quick thing we're going to do is that we want every time a page this page is refreshed this view will increase all right there are many ways to do that one way for instance is to always uh, go go to the database fetch the latest uh, view count and add one to it and re-update the database that's just a long way but if you come to database uh, laravel documentation on the on the um i think it's database on the query builder you will see the increment just control f you see increment increment i didn't type well increment incrementing ids auto incrementing ids so this shows you how to auto increment all right increment uh this is not the only increment i'm looking for yeah increment and decrement it shows you how to go to the a, a certain table and increment a certain field that that field must be an integer so that's what we want to do right now so but before we, you can use database um this you must import it as a facade let's see at the top at the top most look at the top of it you must import it as a facade you see it must be imported into your controller otherwise it will not work all right then the other thing is that another way to find it is just to come here and type increment you see it's under query builder so this is not normal eloquent so let's go and import it we come to category controller at the top of it you see that i imported um facade you see it is imported here illuminate support facade db okay now we're going to go to the show right here so this is uh what shows the displays the page whenever this is the function that displays the page whenever somebody visits for you to visit you have to enter a certain id that's why these pages they have id here you have to pass in a certain id so it goes to the database and fetches the id so what we're going to do right here is after it has fetched the id uh of the course we want to get back to the course and auto increment it so i'll paste uh, the code i wrote here so you just type db table categories so we're going to the categories table where the id is the id that was passed in okay we're trying to identify the particular record inside this table and then we increment a certain field in that record that's view count we increment it by one okay so what i want to do is to quickly go to all the other places where these um exist and and um increment the views another place we can see view count is in courses so if we go to course we are going to see um on the show show so right here i'm just going to do increment view count right and then we are also going to go to um items show increment view count it's important that we do it after this if statement because if this if statement checks whether the item exists if it doesn't exist it's going to cancel it but if we try to update an item that doesn't exist then we're going to have a problem so another thing is that we have to actually change this table name so it, i think it's items which means i'm going to go back to the course and change this table name to courses all right and then uh what else where else payments i don't know if there is a view count in payments i can't remember but we're gonna check okay well another way to check is to check the we could check by checking the database uh migration files so we're going to go to payments just to be sure there is no view counting payments okay 
and um, we're going to go to road no view count user I think there's a, a view count in users so if we go to users users view count yeah beautiful so we'll scroll to show show and change this to users okay this is getting beautiful now and view controller i don't think view controller view count does it i don't think it has it okay so we've done that now we have to go back all the way and start importing the facades at the top at the top here we can import the db facade so for courses we just go to the top and import for users we'll go to the top and import and then for view controller we'll go to the top and do the import okay i hope this makes sense view controller did we do that i don't think we did that we need this so we just need it in three courses um category courses and uh, users i think that's just it and items item controller at the top here import the facade okay we're good that means every time somebody just refreshes any of those pages the view count will automatically increase by itself view if i refresh it again it has increased by five you see it just keeps increasing so this is beautiful so uh one one more thing we can do is to clear up this courses table we just need we don't need the user id we don't need the category id and um, title okay we just need the title maybe description about author we don't need that and a whole lot of other things all right so let's go to this is in courses table so let's go to courses um courses resources views courses and we have table so in the table first of all we're removing the user id we don't need that the category id we really don't need that so we have um, user id is gone category id is gone now we can start looking at title and description and uh, we need don't need about instructor that should be gone and that should be gone you know why i'm removing it in two places this is the header right uh, and this is the actual content so about instructor should be gone and then discount price actual price we're gonna work with it very soon but playlist url we don't need this and we don't need this here so we're trying to clean up that table view count that's how many times people have viewed it mm, okay subscriber count um status i think only admin should see the status then there's photo okay let's see what we have already so far let's refresh and see how many fields we were able to delete i think it makes more sense now and then some other thing we can do is because we know this description is going to take a large space we can put the description and the title in the same place for instance we can take out the title right from here once we take out the title we put it in description as heading 2 or heading 3 h3 all right or bold you can just do bold b all right uh bold course title bold I think this makes some sense then we can do um w 100 so that it stays class so that it stays on its own uh, line so it stays on its own line why this one stays on the other line so uh, we may not see the effect of what we just did but um, the effect will be that we don't need this and we don't need this okay i think well generally i might just be tempted to remove description as a whole at least for now then photo we do we really need photo i doubt but i'm going to remove photo from here and put it right beside description the photo of the course now what we're going to do is to quickly go to 
we could of course quickly go to um, bootstrap to get a good design of um, this if we go to bootstrap website that get bootstrap.com and we're looking at something that's gonna give us a box float embed text align image replacement let's see Um, seems not what I'm looking for I think we should leave that out just for a moment so that uh, when we get to courses and we start creating courses we can come back here and fix it all right because we'll need to fix this too in the courses uh, section all right uh, in the next video I think uh, we might start looking at the subscriptions or just go straight to courses all right thank you very much to you